This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Oh my goodness, guys. Welcome to the first video of 2024. I can't believe we're in a new year and that it's January. Like, I don't know if it was just me, but like 2023 literally went so fast. But I'm so excited for today's video. We are gonna be kicking off the new year with, of course, a crochet vlog. For this vlog, we're actually gonna throw it back to December of 2023 aka last month. I have a bunch of footage that I never showed you guys and I don't want it to go to waste because there's some super cute plushies in there. So don't be thrown off if you see like the Christmas tree in the background. Well actually there's still a Christmas tree in the background. My husband and I just got back yesterday from being away for like 10 days so I need to like decompress. I need to get everything together, get back onto a routine and then I will focus on taking down all the Christmas decor. But back to what I was saying, don't get thrown off if I'm talking about like Christmas and December but yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog and let's get into it. Hey friends, happy Monday. I came on because I am making a small child turtle for somebody. They DM'd me on Instagram and technically my shop is closed until after the holidays, but sometimes I do take on requests if I know I can get it done in time. So let me show you. This is the small child. Look at her. I'm obsessed with the color combination that the customer picked out. They wanted the hot pink shell and this like mauve purple. So pretty. Cute. And like look at her head. So adorable. And actually I'm not done yet with this turtle. I need to make her into a strawberry turtle. So I need to make her strawberry topper and add the seeds and then we'll be done. But yeah, hug check. Oh my gosh, I love how huggable these turtles are. And the small child is honestly a nice size because it's like not- Sorry, my camera died. So back to what I was saying. I think I prefer small child over human size just because it's like the perfect size to like hug and carry around. Like it really isn't too like overwhelmingly big like the human sized turtle. So I'm excited to finish this turtle and send her home. The strawberry part is done guys. Let me show you her. How adorable is this turtle? Also, literally look how big her head is compared to mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love the strawberry top and I literally love this color combination so much. It is so cool. Hug check. Oh my goodness. She is so precious, guys. Look at her. All right, this turtle's going home. See ya. Guys, I got Callie this really cute coat or I guess it's like a sweater from Old Navy because she's always cold. And how cute does she look in it? I love how it has the little armhole so it actually like stays on her pretty nice. Hi, Callie. Callie, you like your sweater? She's like, Mom, why are you doing this to me? Mom, why are you embarrassing me? I'm also working on another jumbo dragon because my other jumbo dragon was such a hit. I am making one in purple yarn and I'm trying to decide what color I wanna do for like the spikes and the secondary accent colors, but let me show you guys. This is what I have so far. So I am working on the body, but yeah, I love this purple color. So I'm thinking maybe like a pink or I could do like a blue. I want it to be something that goes well with purple, so we'll see what I choose. But yeah, I love making these dragons. They are just like the best to cuddle and like just hug. Hello friends, I'm coming on because I am in the middle of pattern designing. Now, if you're a patron of mine, I've been sharing a lot of behind the scenes of pattern design because I do get a lot of questions on how to pattern design, like what are the steps, etc. So shameless plug, if you wanna see behind the scenes details just like that, you should totally join my Patreon. You can choose the amount you wanna pledge each month and you can cancel any time. By joining, you also unlock all of the content from previous months, so that includes all of the patterns, podcasts, and posts. But okay, let me show you guys a mock-up of what I'm doing. So this is my newest pattern. Okay, I, I'm obsessed with her. So I had this idea. I wanted a Valentine's Day turtle because I didn't see a lot of designs out there. And I kind of took inspiration from the little heart doilies. I will like insert a picture here. I love the lace and ruffle look. So I wanted to incorporate that into my turtle. So I basically did a lot of ruffling on the fins which are super cute it's kind of like a scallop and then also ruffling on the shell because i wanted it to kind of look like 
a valentine and then of course i did the two-tone pinks because it's such a great color combination for valentine's day and this is a new thing that i decided to do i was like okay this is giving off like berries and cream vibes i don't know if you guys know the berry and cream aesthetic but it kind of blew up like last year so this is like giving me very much like berries and cream vibes so i was like you know what i need to add a bow so originally i designed this turtle in mind with like a heart on the shell popping out so it's like a 3d look but then i don't know I just decided to go with the whole bow idea and I love her. So right now my patrons and I are trying to decide the size of the bow. I'm trying to think whether or not it's too big, but I kind of love the oversized look. It's super cute in my opinion, but maybe I could offer two sizes, like one big, one small. And then back to the original design that I had. So I always draw out my designs on um, my iPad and I use the app Procreate. And this is the initial mock-up that I had. So I wanted the heart laying flat in the middle of the shell and I wanted like the ruffles like I showed you guys. So this is always like my starting point. So let me show you. I made this heart, but honestly with pattern design, it's a lot of trial and error. You don't know how things will look until you like make it. So this heart is something I came up with, but it's a little big i feel like when i put it on the turtle shell it was like a little too big so i think i might size the heart down but if you can imagine it would just be on the shell and just like the bow is kind of like popping up the heart would pop up as well so i need to take this bow off put the heart on and see that but based off the feedback from my patrons it sounds like they want both the bow and heart to be smaller so i might just incorporate two sizes into it but yeah i am super excited for this pattern guys like it is probably my cutest turtle yet and i know it's literally december and i'm thinking about valentine's day already but i am really excited this will be one of two free patterns for my patrons for january rewards so if you're a patron definitely look out for this coming next month i am super excited to release it and then no pressure if you don't want to join my patron that's totally okay i will also be listing this pattern on my Etsy if you want to make your very own Valentine's Day turtle. So here is the turtle with the heart on its shell. Isn't it so cute? It reminds me of a little Valentine. <laughs> the heart is just popped up on the shell. Super cute. Oh, I love this turtle. There's so many fun like colors that you can choose too when making it. Just wanted to take a short break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you didn't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform that helps you build your audience, create beautiful professional websites, and can help you sell literally anything online successfully. One of my goals in 2024 is to open up my very own website, so in the background, I've been building my Squarespace site. One of my favorite features about Squarespace is that they offer thousands of professional website templates for you to choose. There's also no code required. Their website builder has a super easy drag and drop system, so you can really customize it the way you want. Another great thing about Squarespace Squarespace is that they offer the ability to have an online store. This is perfect for me and everyone else in the crochet space because you can list both digital and physical products. And lastly, if you sell in person at like pop-up events or markets, you can get a square reader and that will automatically sync all of your inventory from your online shop with your in-person sales. Head to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash crochet by Jenna to receive 10% off your first order of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring another video of mine and with that, let's get back into it. Hey guys, I'm coming on because I just finished the last Jumbo Sunflower Turtle of 2023. I literally cannot believe this is the last one that I will be making of the year. I have made so many Jumbo Sunflower Turtles this year. I literally lost track. Actually, let's see how many I made. Let me like go on to my Etsy. It's been a lot, like definitely in the hundreds. Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay. I made exactly 101 jumbo sunflower turtles this year. But okay, let me show you guys. Here she is, look at her. My customer requested the beige body. She really likes neutrals, so this was perfect for her. And then she requested a little friend. I did the little ladybug friend a while back for someone else, but isn't it just so cute and darling on the sunflower turtle? The perfect little friend hug check. So cute, so lovable. I am so excited to send this baby off. If you're watching, thank you so much, Asia, for adopting her.
Hello friends. I literally look like Chewbacca right now because I have one of the big oversized comfy hoodies on. Like if you look at this, you can't even see my legs. Like it's just so massive. Um, I literally have this comfy on and then I have my Patagonia under it because our house is currently like, I think it's like 64 degrees in here. We're the type of family where we do not turn on the heat during winter until like we absolutely have to and that's probably gonna come in like maybe the January time frame. Don't ask me why, it's just the principle, it's just the thing that we do. It's very cozy though, it's cozy vibes. I totally recommend getting a comfy if you also are a cold person, you love oversized clothing and I don't know, you just wanna be warm but like also functional. I feel like if I like draped a blanket over me, I wouldn't be able to like crochet freely. So the oversized comfy look is definitely worth the purchase not sponsored by the way but if you want to sponsor me at the comfy please do but anyway I came on because I thought it would be some cozy vibes and show you what I'm working on right now this kind of looks like a horse but I hope it starts giving off dog vibes because I am making a dog right now this is a special custom order for one of my customers it is actually one of the first orders of 2024 so that's exciting I really have missed doing custom orders it just takes me so long to do a custom order versus like my other plushies so I'm glad that I have some downtime right now and was able to take on a few customs so this is the pattern I am making this cute little cocker spaniel for someone and I just love how ruffly the ears look this pattern is by when crafting is life and as you can see the original pattern design has like acrylic yarn and my customer actually requested plush yarn so I tried to size my hook accordingly but this head is already coming out so massive like the original pattern says the finished product should be around like 23 centimeters whereas this head is already like five inches by itself so to be seen how big this is going to turn out but yeah i'm excited to see the finished product it'll look super super cute but yeah let's just crochet now Hey friends, I figured I'd check in and show you guys the progress that I've made so far with my custom dog plushie. So this is literally the head and body. It is turning out so big, you guys. I gave my customer an estimate in terms of like how big it would turn out and I told her 10 inches. This alone is 10 inches and then we still have like the legs and the tail. So it'll probably come out to around like 15 inches when we're all said and done. But yeah. The snout is so long. It's like low-key giving me like platypus vibes, but this is what I have done so far for the body and the head. I also got done all of the legs and arms. These literally could be legs of a turkey, but I'm glad to have these all done. I also got done the tail and you guys, this portion right here, it is basically a bunch of like chain stitches all slip stitched together. This was so challenging to me. Like I crochet every day and I like to test out new patterns to challenge myself. This has honestly been the most challenging thing I've crocheted in a while. I don't know, it's something about like the slip stitching and the chaining, it really got me. I've never done this technique before. And lucky for me, the ears are also made very similarly. So you have to do a bunch of layers. Whoops, sorry, the camera died. But back to what I was saying, this was not fun. I literally had to frog it so many times and I get why this technique is being used. It's because the ears, they're supposed to be very like 
furry and fluffy looking so this is definitely a creative way to do it but I just I don't know it is it is a challenge for sure and it's very tedious this probably took me like two hours to make but as you see it will go on each side of the dog's head and it'll look super cute and furry so I just need to get through one more ear and then we can slowly start sewing everything together guys look my husband got me this for Christmas it is a little pencil holder but I am using it as a hook holder because how freaking cute is that it's a little frog on a log and this is by one of the youtubers that I've been following all year her name is Tammy and her shop is called Uncomfy Co and isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen so now I have another little desk friend and then I'm in the process of making a fuzzy blueberry turtle for one of my patrons. I love this fluffy, fuzzy yarn. It's also sparkly, and you can actually really see the sparkles nicely in this shot. But this is Premier Pixie Dust, and I've been raving about it <laughs> in a lot of my previous videos. But yeah, highly recommend. It is so, so cute, and it's perfect for miniature plushies. Let me go ahead and put my hook back on my little frog friend. There you go. Thank you. Morning guys. I came on because I finished the little fluffy blueberry turtle and it is so cute. This is what she looks like. She is so adorable, you guys. Like I cannot. Look at that little fluff. She's so small too, so small. I really, really love Premier's Pixie Dust yarn. I highly recommend it. It definitely is my new favorite fluffy yarn. It makes everything look so precious. I can't even do like a hug check, it's so small hug check. <laughs> but I'm excited for her to go off to her forever home. But all right, I think we're gonna call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, I cannot believe that we hit 60,000 subscribers. Ah! Thank you guys so, so much. It is crazy to me that we hit 60K. I am going to be planning a big giveaway on my Instagram that is a combination of celebrating 60K subscribers and 100K followers on Instagram. So stay tuned for those details. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much. You guys are literally the best. I can't wait for next week's video. There will be a lot of fresh January 2024 content. I have a bunch of fun plushies and projects planned and I can't wait to show you guys so make sure you're a subscriber if you're not already and I will catch you guys in my next video hope everyone has a great rest of their day bye